Here I am crushing previous made calcium acetate. I decided to not put here too much because forming acetone could blow the powder up and it would stain apparatus. I ended up using 120 grams of it. I set the apparatus, cover the flask and start heating it. Temperature required here is above 350 Celsius. After a while I can see something distilling off. What is happening here is called ketonic decarboxylation. Reaction takes place between carboxylic acid in presence of base to form new carbonyl compound. Mechanism involves nucleophilic attack of the alpha carbon of one acid group on the other acid group's carbonyl, possibly as a concert reaction with the decarboxylation. You can note this reaction from first step in famous cubane synthesis where adipic acid undergoes ketonic decarboxylation to form cyclopentanol. I run it for another 5 hours only to get less than 30 milliliters. Reaction was not done because leftover powder in contact with sulfuric acid doesn't produce a lot of gas like baking soda. Uh, but it can, but I can smell strong acetic acid scent, that means there's a lot of unreacted calcium acetate. Uh, probably I should just heat it longer and have more even heating source like a heating mantle and round button flask. But I don't have it. Um, the stillant smells horribly, I can't smell acetone in there, though I don't have such small apparatus to distill it, so I just leave it like that. So we did it, acetone from eggshells. Transformation most starting chemists done in their lives. I think there's nothing more to say, so thanks for watching, subscribe my channel, and bye.